So I got to play at the newly designed Miami Airsoft CQB field in Miami, Florida. And I don't know where to start on what a great job the field owner did to improve the field. Rather than going for small incremental changes like most fields do, they completely redid all the parts within the field. To begin, I like to start at the market area or the place in front of the bank. Bank is still the same, but everything is moved around with garage up in front and rotated 90 degrees and the shops that were facing the wall and to the side are now rotated again but this time they're facing Everglades. These changes really opened up the area for more firefights to break out as the two teams will all try and compete for those shops which would give each team a drastic advantage for seeing the players coming out of their spawn. Before it felt that shops was just a place to camp safely for rentals now it forces players to move out, and if you stay there too long, it might become too deadly. One strategy that I recommend is that people starting a bank need to move up and control the stores as soon as possible, or they'll be shot from where the new house is. I especially like this corner right here, where many firefights can take place. It gives those pushing out of Everglades a place to rally and quickly move into shops, and gives people that start at shops a place to stop the people from moving from Everglades. They even add this Latin cafe shop, but there's not much to it, so just kind of avoid it. Which brings me to what used to be the container area, which is now completely redone. For starters, one of the buildings in Everglades was moved here, giving a very interesting perspective down the field. You get a really good view from here, and I can see some DMR rifle and even bolt action players hit this spot in particular to take easy headshots. I think it's a little too good as people from bank can run up here unopposed and pin down the other team before they can push into the house, but it's still a welcome change. Moving on down towards the middle of the field and you see the house was moved to the center of the field and there are even some fences along the side. The house is still the same, but the fences are a great addition as it slows down straight rushes from each side as the rushing team needs to check all the corners. Not only that, it helps the teams take a peek at what's on the other side by looking between the fences, which to some they might think is cheating. Leaving the house area is a new container area, which lends to tire CQB games and encourages people to leave spawn or get spawn trapped. This area is also most featureful, as it has some really cool props you can check out. The plane that was in Everglades was moved here, and it provides a likely first stop before moving into the middle house and shops. There's also a bus, which is in a similar position to how the old house was placed before, but it provides a different vantage points, since you can see through the windows and use it as cover to get out of spawn. You can even get into it and use this hatch on the roof to see down the center lane where the other team will be spawning out of, or anyone in cars near mechanic. Hopping out of the car is the garage and living room. These two rooms used to be connected to spawn, but now are closer to Everglades. This is one of my favorite spots in the field, as it provides people from Everglades a way to move into containers without having to go around a wall or get shot from a window. This spot is also necessary for container side team to hold, because when Bankside takes us this building, they have a clear shot to anyone moving out of spawn, and you're pretty much spawn trapped at that point. Last but not least is Everglades, which has seen the least amount of change. But since there is more cover around the side of the field, it makes entering and leaving Everglades more interesting. An example of this is that they took out one of the buildings and moved the garage in its place. They even added more lighting, which I'm all for, since identifying targets is a real pain, and oftentimes it led to friendly fire. So now what are my opinions of Miami Airsoft with these upgrades? Well, I think they're amazing and well needed. Even though things were moved around in previous iterations, it didn't feel like a huge change, where before, people would just stay in house all game or stay in market. Now, if you try doing that kind of stuff, you're just going to be flanked by the opposing side. No side has any advantage or disadvantage as before. Each side is relatively the same kind of cover, and it's just a matter of skill and how much risk the player is willing to take. Is this the best airsoft field in South Florida? Oh yes, by a long shot. No one can compare. One of the biggest complaints I've had is a lack of creativity or caring, and Miami Airsoft is one of the fields that actually does care by putting a really good field together. But let me know what you think if you play on Miami Airsoft. What do you think about these brand new changes? That's it for this week's video guys. Sorry about last week for no videos, but I promise I'll be back to normal. I even have some really good CQB gameplay from the new field as well. If you like this video, do thumbs up and subscribe to see more. I'm Revention, and I'll see you guys next time.